Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, we see fillet option and its sub options in CATIA V5. We can see fillet option here in Recept toolbar. First, I create one block, go to sketch. Take a rectangle. I pad this. Use some 20 mm. Here I have a rectangular block. First, see here we have edge fillet. Select this edge fillet simple option give radius value I use some 10 mm select edge like this then go for ok you can select number of edges see select edge fillet see I select this edge this edge and this edge like this then we see uh, sub options in that. I delete this fillet. Select command. Then you can see sub options when you go into more. Select more. First I select see here edges to keep. What does this do? What we have to select in this option. For this I create one small cylinder on the surface like this I pad this to some height now we can see a small gap between the circular edge and the blockage maybe it may be some 5 mm to 6 mm now I want to give edge fillet some radius to this uh, cylindrical edge so I select this now I give the value some 12 mm then go for ok then you can see here the block edge see this edge is not straight slightly change its shape to convex so for this for this we have to use option limiting edges I delete that I select edge fillet if the radius is more than the gap here then to control that shape go to more select edges to keep and select this first edge and second edge the edges which are getting disturbed you have to select in this option then go for ok see like that we use a, a limiting edges option now I delete this I also delete this uh, cylinder next select the command select edge give some value 10 mm then go to more edges to keep as we have seen edges to keep the first option then what is this uh, limiting elements for this right click on that here we have option create point select that point select that option in this on curve I checked on then on this edge I am creating a point on that edge with some distance you can also give distance a required distance in this tab then go for ok now you can see see you can reverse this direction either this side or that side right now in this uh, on, on left side then 
if you go for okay from that point you can see the fillet formed to this side of that point if you want the same fillet to the other side reverse that not only a single point we can also select two points on the edge select fillet option give some value select edge go for move limiting elements right click create point select the edge a point again right click create point select create point option select the edge a point now you see the arrow direction if the arrow direction both the arrow direction inside fillet formed fillet have been formed between two points if the arrows reversed fillet form outside to the point see like this we have to use this option i delete go for fillet more we have seen it just to keep for a, like a, if the uh, distance uh, between two features two edges are less we use this edges to keep option limiting elements if you want to form fillet between two points we have to use limiting elements then what is this parting element as the name indicates it parts it parts the edge for that select edge first parting element right click see create plane x y plane y z plane z x plane option is there i just simply select this plane which is perpendicular to this edge then i go for okay you can see its output see it has been parted into two you can take plane at any distance see reference element i select this plane reverse direction i want some 20 mm a distance from this surface see now the plane is a perpendicular to that edge go to fillet select edge parting element simply select that plane a new plane then go for okay right then the last option in fillet sub options select edge fillet go to more blend corners what does this do blend corners corners means we have to select three perpendicular edges see say suppose i select in this video you can see edge 1 edge 2 edge 3 then see with 10 mm radius edges a fillet form on the edges here you can see it its intersection the intersection point of these three fillets you can customize this distance see this edge i need to move this edge to some more some more distance for that we use blend corners useful option select edge 1 edge 2 edge 3 go for preview sorry more here blend corners no selection select this tab right click create by vertex select create by vertex and select this point in some other release it is catcher v5 r20 you can select a create by vertex option in some release like r18 or r19 directly uh, by selecting on in this block directly you can select the point no need to right click and no need to select in the other release then you can see see distance here first distance see preview i go for preview see first this distance this side 10 mm 
the other side 10 mm down side 10 mm you can see now i double click over here i enter 20 preview see and down side i give 15 then to this side 10 mm then i go for ok see now this area we have customized see this we are given some 20 mm distance uh, down side 15 this as it is 10 mm so these are all the sub options uh, we use regularly while we are designing a component thank you for watching this video if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel